How's it going today? Today I'm going to be opening up right now just one of the two box of flaws. I ended up buying a whole case. Um, <clears throat> it's 2021 baseball flawless. Um, I've had a lot of luck um, with this product over the last couple years. Um, I know it's unlicensed and all that, but it's a very fun product. And honestly, other than the unlicensed part, it's probably one of the most beautiful cards that they make with the patches and everything else. <clears throat> um, last year I got lucky, hit the, they had like the additional card. I hit a one-on-one bat knob of Joe Cronin. Um, I hit a dual relic Babe Ruth last year. So hit a lot of really good cards. So this year, um, decided to get this again and end up getting the full case. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about this. So this video is only going to be for one of the two cases. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I'm, I always love opening this stuff. Actually, I think these don't really need to be cut off. I think they just kind of peel off real easy. So I'm going to try not to see the two cards inside. I'm actually going to use a, a little Pokemon, uh, cards so there's one so here's the box I don't even know if those are big enough to cover the two inside so before I do the ones inside I will um, get another card to use I'm trying to think what I can use here then it's kind of a thicker box too the ones that i've seen thicker usually have a button card um let's see what i got over here to use there we go so to start off real quick when i open these up right here I'm going to use a King Griffey Jr. 1989 upper deck that I pulled a while back. To kind of all right. So and then I'm I have a this to kind of block that for now, and I'll use it later for the other one. Also have a Beau Bichette. So we should start off with two relics. Let's see who the first relic card is. Got a Kristen Pache Triple Patch. Mastercraft. Really beautiful card. Um, unless any of these cards are cards I need in my PC, which probably won't be a ton there might be one or two here and there this one definitely not probably i'll be end up putting this up online trying to sell it but there's the first one so second card let's see what we get one out of 15 pie trainer dual relic dual bat relic I love these old school players. Um, whoops. This up. I really, I mean, most of these I don't sell. I did out of Immaculate last year. I hit two different, um, with Pittsburgh. Last year I hit two different uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson bat relic cards. One was a single, one was a double. And uh, I, uh, Ended up selling the single, but kept the double. So here we go. Louis Tiant. Five of five. Kind of a cool auto. I haven't seen it done in that pen. But it looks really smudged with that pen. I know the name. I just don't know much about them. So let's see. Here. Put this one in. 
And then for the next card. All right. So 12 of 20. Eugenio Suarez. I have no idea who he is. Eugenio Suarez. Don't know if he's a young player, rookie, older player. I don't know. I've never heard the name. So maybe some of you have. You can let me know who he is. But so far, this box has been eh. It's not, not been as good as I would have liked. So next one. Oh, we got a duel. Looks like a duel auto. Let's see who we got. Clark Schmidt and Debbie Garcia to 15. That's nice. That's clean. Four of four of 15. Got the nice patch here. So, not game worn, player worn. I have seen that uh, dual pulled on another channel, but dual New York pitching. I know there's a lot of hype on that guy. <clears throat> All right. So the next one we got here looks like an Oakland A. Ooh, that is clean. Dalton Jeffries, 5 out of 10 with the elephant. Kind of over pitchers, to be honest with you, but... That is a very clean card. I don't have too many patches of the, the logos. So I do have like a, what's his name? Shoot. Oh, Aristides Aquino. I have a, one of his from Immaculate with the red sim, uh, logo. So, all right, Signature Prime Materials. Looks like a Walker Bueller. And that is 9 out of 10. This one's definitely going to be gone. I have a few of his autographs. <clears throat> so one thing I'm seeing a little bit in this box that I've seen on a couple that were online is um, like a lot of the same players that are um, in the, out of the same boxes. So let's see, last card out of the little box. Oops, upside down. Looked like it was 9 out of 10. So let's see who we got here. Si oh, I think I know who it is. Nope, maybe I don't. Chipper Jones, 9 out of 10. Three bat relics patch and auto. Still a clean card. For a minute there, when I saw it, I thought I saw one. I thought it was... Uh, What's his name? Ichiro. But was not Ichiro. So put this one in. And then we'll get to the last two cards of the gym and the the other auto. Make sure I got these kind of covering good. Not quite. Turn this around like this. So I don't know which one is the gem. I think it's this one on the left, but we'll open this one. Maybe it's the other one. This is the gem mint or the gem diamond card. Flawless performances. Fernando Tatis. Oh, there we go. Auto. 10 out of 15. Very nice. So I got to remember, the left side is the auto, right side is the gym. I'd almost rather do this one last, but let's see who the gym is. And I think I did see that too. Yeah, Dylan Carlson, 17 out of 20. So good rookie from Elk Grove, California. I'm from Sacramento, California, so we're pretty close. So it's still a nice card to get, but... um. Definitely a little lackluster compared to last year's cards. Um, but 
still beautiful regardless. I'm not disappointed in buying it. Um, be a little bit of money, I think, in some of these cards. Some of them I will be keeping, but, you know, if they're not really anybody I need to have in my PC, I'd rather use it to help try to get some of the money back. Um, but the Tatis, I'll probably end up keep for not keeping that one for, for now. But um, thank you all for watching. Subscribe and like if you would, and you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.